Hello my loves, welcome back and we are here for another reading this week and this week we are going to do why are they acting this way. So I wanted to, the spirit were talking to me and they said well let's think, of, let, let's do a reading where we can really see what's going on and why they are behaving the way that they're behaving and that's what we're going to do today. So I've got two decks for you to pick from. Now what was quite interesting is when spirit was showing me the decks they wanted us to use uh, we were drawn to a divine feminine and a masculine, divine masculine deck. So for those of you that are interested, this one is oopa, the Cosmic Woman Tarot. Um, and this one is the Mystic Mondays Tarot. So we're going to go into your energy and your person's energy. So pick the deck you are most drawn to. And as you pick that deck, I want you to just feel your energy merging with theirs and push it into the deck you like. Um, and if you can't do that, just visualise a pink or a green colour coming from your heart chakra centre into the deck that you like. And we work on the collective energy. So, deck number one. Let's go. So we are going to see why your person that you are thinking of is acting the way they are. So I'm very curious to see what comes up here. Why are they acting this way? So, let's just do one more of them. Spirit said one more, one more. So we will do what they think. Okay, let's go. Why is that person acting this way? Okay. One. I love this card. I don't normally, I'm not a temperance fan. For me, temperance is probably the, the most ugh, card in the whole deck. But I like this one because she gets the light reflecting out of her tartars. And I think it's absolutely epic for the divine feminine power. And, um, you know, and the power that, that the breasts give us, like with, with feeding and babies and things like that. So, um yeah it's really good why are they acting this way i love that card why are they acting this way okay i'm actually going to stop at three of that spirit saying just do three so sometimes less is more i'm going to put you some stardust dice so let's just get three dice for you as well why are they acting this way so for those of you that read tarot we've got the magician we've got the kit King of Cups, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice a bit. And we've got the world as well. Okay, so the first thing to talk about with these cards is there is a lot of major arcanas for those of you that read tarot. Now, those of you who don't read tarot, Major arcanas are the cards that are the big, big situations. So while they're acting this way, this situation is a big deal to them. Okay, so even if you're like, well, they're not acting that way, that's a bit weird. But the situation to them will equally, it will be a big deal. Now, so let's talk about temperance first and foremost. So this card over here, temperance is a card of pause. It's a card of alchemy. It's a card of changes. And it's a card that can sometimes be stagnancy and it can be delays. Now, what I like about this card over here, when well, we've already spoken about her boobies, um, but obviously as a woman, and a woman that breastfed as well for a good year, we know what kind of changes go on within the body to create the milk to give life. And when we're looking at temperance as that way, it can take time for that to happen, okay? You have nine months gestation with having a baby, and then the time that it takes for your milk to come in, and then feeding. So you have this kind of quite slow and steady wins the race, and that's what I like about this temperance card. So when we're asking why they are acting this way, first of all, we've got this is a major situation, and secondly, that they're kind of biding their time with it and want to see how it actually happens naturally. Okay, you might not like that, but that's what's going on. Now with the magician coming up over here, we have um, on this on this dice, and if you can see, the infinity symbol. And the infinity symbol works often a lot with divine relationships. So I often talk to you guys about a helix of DNA, how we work with more divine relationships, how you wave in and out of each other's life. This is going on over here. So if they are like over here and you haven't heard from them, they will waver back into your connection. But they're just taking their time with it, okay? Now with the magicians just showing that your energy also will align to suit purpose, that's what Spirit's saying. Um, so whatever you are asking for, it will come, but there's potential for delays over here on a psychic level. On the way that they are acting on this, they can feel that there is probably a very strong pull towards you. Um, and as we said, it's major situations that are going on that they're really sensing it majorly. So they're taking their time with that. So that's what's going on over here. So in short, let me just explain that really, really short because Spirit gave you a load of information. Um, 
waiting, giving it a bit of time, waiting for things to transform, going with it all naturally, um, will waver back into your life, know that they will come back to you um, and they're waiting for the energy to align, but they might feel a little bit ooh, overwhelmed with the situation because um, you have this beautiful power dynamic between you guys of the divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Okay, what else is going on Why they're acting this way? So the next card you've got with the King of Cups and Judgment. Now, judgment talks of like resurrection. It talks about renewal. It talks about things moving forward with you guys um, and perhaps how they've been judged for the actions that they've created in the past. So on this card over here, we have an amount of self-reflection that they are going through. They are reflecting on themselves, reflecting on their life um, and reflecting on the choices that they have made. And with the King of Cups coming in, this is a card of love. This is a card of your person having very, very strong emotions for you. So they're also acting this way because they've been here in the past and they are now looking for a new sense of purpose with this connection, but they've got to find their feet on it. They know with the King of Cups over here, they know they have very strong emotions for you. They know that the situation will renew itself, that they will have another chance with you. <clears throat> Perhaps they're just playing silly buggers and something like that at the moment, but the sense of renewal is there. So they know, um, I just got the song um, by Celine Dion. It's all coming back to me now. I, I don't know which one it was. Um, it's all coming back to me now. So you've got this sense of things moving forward with you guys. So they can see a future with you with the King of Cups and, and Judgment here. This is a definite future based at reading energy here. They see a future of you. They see your energy is merging, but we've just got a little bit of delays going on because they're acting a bit like a beep, fill in the blank. So the last two cards over here, you've got the Three of Cups and the World. Three of Cups is celebrations, it's happiness, it's joy, it's partying, it's everything working out for you. And with the world, that speaks of end of cycles and beginning of new ones. So when we're looking at this energy of you guys and the connection and where it's going, they know that, they are acting this way as well because they know that there's going to be an ending and a new beginning. They do see a future with you. So they just want to bide their time with it. Okay. And um, perhaps social events, parties, things like that, you will be invited to in the world. <clears throat> also speaking of great success. So at the very end, you've got two cards of success. So overall, why they are acting this way? Let's, let's give it to you in short. Let's go short. Delays. Um, whilst they're working out, if you are the person that they want to settle down with. Feeling a divine connection and sometimes freaking out about it because they feel the energy is really, really intense. Wanting to bide their time with it. And again, that kind of speaks down the line of having a future together. So they want to just make sure that this is right before they give you the green light and say, Leah, let's go, let's head this way. With judgment coming up, you've got a renewal. Okay, so even if it's like a crush and you're like, what, what's going on? The sense of renewal and the King of Cups is just saying that your person will come to back to you. They will speak to you if you're not in contact and they will give you those emotions and they'll, they'll give you what you're asking for. And with the cards at the end, your celebrations in the world, um, you know, it, it's there. So they're just acting this way because they just need a little bit of time, really. But they do really, really like you. I mean, that, that's evident, evident. It's so clear that those emotions are there, but there's just a little bit of a pause on it. So if you need me for a private reading, just drop me a message, mrlovetyro.gmail.com. I have got space for video readings and I have got availability for, um, what's it called? Voice note readings with the same day turnaround. So if you want an answer the same day that you pop over the cash, um, it's only £10 a question as well. So if you want to do that, um, just give me a message, let me know, um, and I'll get the answer back to you the same day. Pretty neat. Okay, let's do deck number two. So we're stepping into the divine masculine energy using a masculine energy deck. Um, now some of you think, well, oh, she's a bit strange. Decks are just bits of cardboard, but they each have their own power. Um, and this deck is definitely a masculine, more masculine feeling deck. So we're just gonna go into the collective energy of you all and go into your person's energy. And we are gonna ask, why are they acting the way that they are acting? Let's see what's going on. I'm very curious. I like this kind of reading because I like seeing what's going on um, in your lives. Very nosy, aren't I? Okay, why are they acting this way? Why is their person acting this way? Now I'm going to do what I did with deck number one and just pull, get three cards for you. Um, and then I will use some dice as well. Ooh, okay. One, two, 
three. So the first thing that's coming out as these cars jump out um, is self protect. It's come out really, really clearly. First thing Spirit has said to you, um, it's come through my right ear, which is higher dimensional beings, higher dimensional guides. Okay, so you're talking, you've got your, your close guides in your left ear and the higher guys come through my right ear. And it sounds weird. <laughs> but there is a sense of self-protect and it's almost as if they've cut off their nose to spite their face. And they took a step back from the situation because they didn't want to get hurt. Um, and in the process, they've hurt themselves. Okay, um, your person is struggling. There's a sense of grief. There's a sense of loss. There's a sense of loneliness. So whatever is happening in your situations, particularly third parties, even if there were someone else, if you would know about it, by the way, if I'm saying third party, you're like, I don't know who Lot is. Um, that's because I'm not talking to you. Third parties that do know about it. It is that sense of cutting my nose off to spite my face, let you go, live your life, be happy, and I'll make myself unhappy in the process. So it's almost like they, yeah, they're trying to create your person as a whole, um, not, not third parties, everyone. They're trying to create this, you go live your life and everything is going to be wonderful and great for you and I will sit here and feel sorry for myself because no one could love me. So we really have a few dark nights of the soul going on with your person. Um, they are in a heavy energy, they are feeling lonely, and they don't really know how to come back from this at this point in time. So let's pull you some dice just to go with the card. These are my new toys, I just love them. One, two, three. Okay, so we've got strength, makes sense, doesn't it? We've got Ace of Wands over Heartbreak. And let's have a look. Your last card uh, was Two of Swords, King of Cups. So your cards were, for those of you who read Tarot, Five of Pants, uh, Three of Swords, King of Cups. Your dice were Strength. Not that you can see it very well. Strength. Ace of Wands. Here we are. And Two of Swords. Okay. So, why are they acting this way? Well, straight off, we've got this whole, everything that Spirit just said to you. They're feeling a little bit lonely. They're feeling a little bit sorry for themselves. And with strength kind of coming next to it, it's like this battle. They're facing a bit of a battle in their mind. They're facing a bit of a battle in their life. They're looking back to past situations. This is a very past orientated. Um, looking back to situations from the past and feeling a little bit sorry for themselves. They're wondering, did I say the right thing? Did I act the right way? Did I do this how I should have done it? Um, and when, you know, when they're feeling like that, they're calling on the strength that they have um, to kind of get up each day. They are feeling very, very low, very, very lonely and very, very sad. So if you're wondering why they're acting this way, they're looking back to the past and feeling sorry for themselves, really, thinking they could have handled things differently with you, could have, um, you know, maybe even just situations, could have handled situations a little bit better, and this sense of loss and loneliness over here. And uh, with that, I got the, um, uh, I'll be missing you. Not the not the the police. I'll be watching you. The the other one that they did. Then they said, "I'll be missing you," but that that song. So your person is also missing you. So over here, the next bit, we've got the heartbreak and the ace of wands. So they are feeling this pain in the heart. They are feeling this kind of indecision. What I like over here, you've got two of swords, and obviously on this card you have two swords, and then the third going right through the middle. So they've had this state of indecision on the situation, not quite sure how to handle it. So they've just kind of stabbed themselves in the heart. Their mind is really taking over, and they are just feeling this sense of loss and heaviness. They've tried to do the right thing, and it's just not well, they try to do the right thing for them and it's just not worked out in their favour. And that's why the Ace of Wands is coming up. They perhaps said to you, some of you guys, they probably said, I'm not looking for a committed relationship. I, I'm not really sure what I want. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I can't commit to you. And now that you've had this bit of a with them, now they're feeling sorry for themselves. And again, looking back to the past on that indecision and thinking perhaps I've made the wrong choice. So we have a bit of regret here as well. Um, now, with the King of Cups and the Two of Swords reaching over the top, the last two cards, your person has got very strong feelings for you, but that indecision comes from their feelings. So they've got very much in their mind, they're in the mind, mind, they're in their mind over it all. What's the right thing to do? 
what do I do? I've got overwhelmed with emotions. I don't know how to handle this situation. There's also, again, that sense of indecision. Now, a lot of times with the water signs, I try not to read astrology um, with the tarot when it comes to this person, that person, because it's quite an open branch, but you might find that they've got a lot of either Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces in their charts because there is this very strong sense of indecision coming up over here. They've overwhelmed themselves with emotions. They might have said some stuff to kind of push you away a little bit just because they're like, oh, well, I don't know what to do when I'm panicking. And they've said stuff and there is a sense, again, of regret coming up from that. And now they don't really know how to move forward. So with the King of Cups and the Two of Swords over here, they have those strong emotions for you, but they don't know what to do about it, which is so frustrating for you. So your person is just sitting there feeling sorry for himself, feeling a bit lonely, feeling like they've made some bad choices um, and feeling these strong emotions for you, a sense of regret, a sense of remorse, but they don't know what to do about it. They're like, oh, well, I don't want to make a tit of myself, so what do I do? So I'm just going to pull you one more card on uh, what happens next, because I'm quite interested. What will happen next with deck number two? What will their person do? So we've got the world. And let's get you a dice as well. Let's go with that. Okay, and we've got the lovers. So what is going to happen next? The energy is going to do a... 180. So your person's going to realise where they've been in this stagnancy, feeling sorry for themselves. They're going to come to you with some form of offer of love. They might talk to you about their emotions. Um, spirit is just piping in there and saying that perhaps circumstances as well, whatever your individual circumstances are, perhaps that has caused a bit of a pull away, a bit of a rift, you know, wherever you were of your life with them. Um, they, they might have pulled away like that. Um, but do not fear, they will return. So with the world and the lovers, these cards are very cyclical energy, okay? So again, we kind of pull into that divine infinity symbol, that cyclical energy going on there. So even if they've wandered, they return, they go, they come back. And that's happening here. Lovers really strongly, uh, signifying the month of June as well um, as quite an important month for you guys. As a whole, again, that's your collective energy. And if you want to look at private timings, just give me a shout. The world, speaking of success. So you have successful love jumping out together. You have these very strong emotions bonding the two of you. So even if it's dormant asleep and your person's feeling really sorry for himself, it does look like it will do a bit of a 180 in the coming month um, and things will kind of go back um, to the start. I just got that song, we're going back to the start. I can't remember who, we're going back to the start. <laughs> it sounds a bit like Coldplay and I can't sing, by the way, if you're going to say you're a terrible singer. I know, I do I know, I am aware of that. So yeah, going back to the start. Um, they are really feeling this sense of grief and missing and loss. So the only way back is to come back to you or to return or well, it's back and return kind of same thing, isn't it? Uh, Voltar, if you want to be Portuguese. Um, the song by Maria Mendonça when she, I, I'm not very good at, uh, at, at Portuguese. I can speak a little bit, enough to get by. Um, but this song she said about Voltar, um, that one coming up as well, if you want a Portuguese song, I'm hearing it. Para Penso e Volta, something like that, I think it is. You'll be like, no, Ali, that's not what it is. And then I'm like, okay, that's cool. Um, but <laughs> yeah, that song coming up, you'll know which one I mean. So yeah, it'll come back, come back round again. Make sure that you're doing some return to standards. So if you're suddenly hit with this anxious energy and things being like, oh, I can feel really uneasy, uh, just say, who does this belong to? And if you feel the energy is sitting very heavily in you and you or you feel that you're going lighter, just say return to sender and consciousness attached. Send it back. It won't do any bad energy. It won't do any karma. It won't do anything like that. Um, it's just picking up that energy and returning it. All right, guys, I love you. Drop me a message if you need me, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. You can also Insta, Facebook, all that jazz. It's just Mr. Love Tarot. Um, I love you. Ciao, guys. Over here, so I already said about the women's tartars. Tatars, titties, whatever you'd like to call them. Um, now, the t you know, our, our breasts are there for power, really, aren't they? They're, they're there for help. They're there for feeding. Um, and a lot of our divine feminine energy kind of rests within that chakra. Oh shit, mom, I fucked that up.